all up on our house flame reading. Um, if you can see in this container, um, if you look closely, you'll see that there are some young housefly larvae. Um, there is one. Um, they're developing quite well in here. If you look at this container, however, it's loaded, just loaded with larvae. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split them up. So I just made some new um, media. I'm going to place the new media in a cup. Yeah. Here I go. Here I'm doing it. Anyway, then I pick this up. That's just the paper towel the eggs were deposited on. And then what I want to do is just very carefully get out half of the media and thus half of the maggots. Look at all of them. They are approaching full size really quickly. I noticed in this generation, the adults are... Oh, wow, there are already pupae in there. What the heck? Okay. In this generation, it's really weird because the adults were a lot um, slower to start laying eggs, but the larvae seem to be developing much more rapidly. I don't know why they've already pupated. They're like four days old, if that. Uh, I'm not complaining because of how long it took the adults to start laying their eggs. I have the puppy here, too. Hi, puppy. Hi, Emmy friend. Are you a good little puppy? Yeah, you're a sweet little puppy. Oh, thank you. Good girl. Yeah, you like your leg. Okay, sorry. Um, and I'm just going to pour the rest of the media in with these guys. Perfecto. I'm going to shake it up a little to distribute the fresh new media. The puppy is waiting patiently for what? I don't really know. And that's what I do. And generally, I will um, do this several times if the containers are loaded with maggots enough. Since these guys are pretty much fully grown, I probably don't have to do that again.